it all started with two winters in Australia and seeing every house there with solar water heating. I think that that technology seems to be behind in this country and I wanted to try and use it here. I got a cold call one morning mentioning air source heat pumps and the government's Green Deal and went and spent a few hours on the internet and this sounded like a really good idea because it makes the whole project of making a more efficient heating system affordable. After initial contact with Dr MacArthur, I came out and did a room by room heat loss calculation on the property, uh, which then determines what size of heat pump we needed to, to install. It became apparent quite quickly due to the nature of the building and the, the stone structure. One single heat pump perhaps wasn't going to be large enough to provide 100% of the heat. So we decided um, to fit a hybrid system where we retain the original oil boiler and install an air source heat pump to supplement that heat. This is fed into a thermal store, which also captures the heat from the oil boiler if needed. It's also connected to the solar thermal. So the idea being that the thermal store will capture all of the heat from all the different technologies and deliver that around the radiator circuit as and when it's needed. The great thing about integrating all of these technologies together is the valent control system. With an air source heat pump, the air temperatures and performance of that product fluctuate throughout the year. So when it becomes more efficient to use the oil boiler over the heat pump, the controller is clever enough to select the most efficient fuel source at that time, maximise on the efficiency of the overall system. I'd always dreamed that when I retired, I'd actually build a new house with proper insulated walls and uh, uh, go really green but actually I, I can't replace the view so it's doing the best I can with the old property and I'm surprised actually how easy it is to retrofit. An air to water heat pump generates heat out of the air. The fan within the heat pump unit then draws the air across a heat exchanger. Via a refrigerant cycle inside the unit it then takes a low grade heat into a high grade heat which is used for heating and hot water. The heat exchange unit supplied by Valent is a very unique product and it serves three purposes. Purpose number one is to separate the antifreeze glycol fluid from the heat pump to the heating system. Second point it has a high efficiency circulating pump which is 35% more efficient than a standard pump and that distributes the heat around the heating system. And the third point it has the fill and flush points to be able to fill the glycol fluid from the heat pump outside the property to the heat exchange unit within the property. The solar pump station is an item that is supplied with the solar thermal equipment and the way that it works is when solar gain is out on the roof space it then sends a signal which energises the circulation pump within the unit which then contributes towards hot water production. Initially, because I hadn't had any previous recommendations about the firms that I was using, I was worried about the quality of work and their reliability and guarantees. And I've become increasingly reassured. Good quality of work and some very good tradesmen that have been working here. One funding stream available for homeowners is the Renewable Heat Incentive and that'll be a way that homeowners can claim finance from having renewable technologies in their property. On this particular project we have an air to water heat pump, we have solar thermal and there's also PV so we have three products that will generate a revenue stream for the homeowner. It is a substantial investment but I'm hoping over the time period that it's used it's going to pay for itself and then I'll have a free system that will be running my house very cheaply. Yesterday was a great day on site at, here at Dr MacArthur's. We installed the panels on the roof providing the hot water to the thermal store. Today we've got a lot going off. We've got the electricians in um, doing all the wiring and valence intelligent control system which is going to actually control this entire system. We chose Valent for this particular project because of the equipment's sleek modern design, also the parts and labour guarantee. The training and support that we've been given by Valent has been excellent. We very much like to be involved with as many projects as we can and coming to site and supporting engineers and making sure that the installation process 
we're making that easy for the installers but it also gives a, um, a reassurance to the homeowner that we really are working in partnership with our installation companies. The early concerns were about what's the quality of the work going to be like, how much and how long is that disruption going to be. As you get older you, be, you are more threatened by disruption and change and you think well why don't I just carry on as I am, what's the point? But actually it's, it, 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 it's nice to feel that you've done something useful that's going to make my future better and, and actually is environmentally more friendly. final stages of the installation went really, really well. Just to rubber stamp the commissioning process, we send an engineer to site and we go through the settings with the client to make sure that he understands how our control system works and just give an overall check that everything on the system was working as it should be. The system's been performing really excellent. Dr MacArthur's really pleased with the results so far. The heating system is actually more responsive than I expected from the air source heat pump. The solar thermal seems to be covering a good percentage of his, of his hot water demand and the air to water heat pump when needed because we're in springtime coming into summer the heating demand is is not at its highest period but the the running costs so far have been very very low and his oil system so far hasn't kicked in so he's really really pleased because he's not burning expensive oil and, and cost him a lot of money i put it on holiday mode uh, while I was away, I've come back after three weeks, walked in, and I could take a shower straight away. Most heat pump projects tend to go in well-insulated buildings um, or renovations where the insulation levels are brought up to current standards. We had to do some additional work to this property in order to make Dr MacArthur qualify for the RHI. The additional work was wall insulation and loft insulation. Once the upgrades have been done to the property's fabric, it is then our job as the installer to produce the MCS certificates. We then lodge the application for Dr MacArthur's RHI. I'm very pleased that the installers chose Valent. Um, the friend who'd recommended this system said they were the best. They're a local firm and it's German engineering. I mean, what could be better? We're projecting to save around 30% of his current oil bill. He's got a running cost saving, but also with the renewable heat incentive, he's got a revenue stream for a seven year period. We're expecting to achieve RHI payments on the air source heat pumps of £800 per year. On the solar thermal, we're expecting it to be in the region of between £350 to £400 per year for Dr MacArthur, and the solar PV to be in the region of £500 to £550 pounds per year from the feed-in tariff. I think what we've proved here is we can mix new technology with old technology and still achieve great results and still give the client running cost savings against their traditional systems, generally oil and LPG, um, and also claim the renewable heat incentive. I was worried about the disruption uh, and the expense and should I be doing this at all, was it worthwhile? And I actually now do feel quite confident the system's working, it's working well. I am absolutely certain I'm going to be heating my house more cheaply in the future and that I've insulated myself against oil price rises and electricity price rises. So, um, yeah, I have, I have no problems. I'm not bothered about how many pennies I make here or there, just that I have got a much more efficient heating and hot water system that I'm not going to worry about using. Mm -hmm.